Hi, this is Robert Craig, Executive Director of Citizen Action of Wisconsin, and I want to address a controversy that's become even more clamorous than the one over healthcare.gov, and that is the claim that President Obama misled the public by saying that people could keep their healthcare plans if they wanted them, period, as the President said. Now, I entirely agree the President overstated this promise. He certainly meant it for most people, because most people who have Almost all people have insurance at work who have good health insurance right now, and those people, nothing changes for them. Uh, what the current controversy is about is the individual market where people buy insurance on their own. And the claim is, is that thousands of people across the country are having their health insurance canceled, and therefore this shows that President Obama lied, and therefore this shows that people are somehow losing their free choice over health care. And the people who are making this claim, right-wing talk show hosts, other conservative ideologues, what they are not pointing out to people is that the individual market is literally the, a, a market based on discrimination. It is a place where people get substandard insurance. 40 to 60 percent of the insurance doesn't meet the basic minimum standards of the Affordable Care Act and where the insurance industry has control and decides who will be insured, denying coverage to anyone who has pre-existing conditions or carving out parts of the body or charging them discriminatory rates or trying to throw people off their coverage once they actually try to use the coverage and get sick. It's a place where there is exploitation and abuse and where people's rights are violated all the time and in which people do not control their own health care decisions, insurance companies do. And so what's happening is some of these, a lot of these low-ball policies are not being offered anymore. And insurance companies could have upped the standards, they could have improved the policies so they met basic minimum standards, but instead they've decided to cancel the policies in many states and have caused this, this right-wing conservative claim that some people are having their freedom reduced. The fact of the matter is, is that the last system, the current system that we are leaving, is one that demolishes the rights and freedoms of anyone who has to buy insurance on their own. There are 1.3 million Wisconsinites who have pre-existing conditions that would almost certainly get them denied coverage on this individual market, this place conservatives claim is a place of freedom. And if it hasn't happened to them, it's because they happen to have good insurance at work. But if they ever leave that job, they will face that discrimination and many people in Wisconsin across the country have and are outraged about it. So if the issue is freedom, and that's what the right-wing talk show hosts and the hacks are telling us, then you have to look at the two systems and compare them. One system, the insurance companies hold the cards, they decide what's in the policies, you find out even if you get insurance you can afford after you need medical care that huge things aren't covered, then you may go medically bankrupt or not get the care you need. That's the status quo versus a new system where it is guaranteed that everyone has access to quality affordable health care no matter what, that they can never take away from you. And so the right wants to make this about freedom, bring it on. If the right wants to make it about uh, President Obama overpromising, that's not a good thing. That does not in any way compare to what we're talking about here. That is people who have asthma, people with diabetes, people who are cancer survivors, being denied coverage, being thrown off coverage, being denied basic human rights that everyone ought to have no matter what. So if it's about freedom, I say to the right, I say to all the critics of the Affordable Care Act, bring it on, because the new system guarantees that people decide and people have choice of good insurance, not their vision, which is somehow people are deciding to have substandard insurance doesn't cover anything because that's all the insurance they need. That's not what's happening. What's happening is that's all they can get from the insurance industry if they're lucky enough to get it at all. So I think if this is about freedom, I know who wins, health care reform wins, we must move forward, we must implement the Affordable Care Act, and we must push through all these people who don't even want anyone to have a right to access to health care, who never wanted health care reform in the first place, and want to go back to an unethical and discriminatory status quo that no civilized country should settle for. Thank you very much. Keep up the fight. Go to our website citizenactionwi.org or our Facebook page and like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and we will keep you informed on how you can keep, stay in this fight and win guaranteed affordable health care for everyone in this country, no matter what.